effectors and uh, the way that weights draw in Messiah are pretty powerful. It allows you to see the influence of a bone or an effector um, as you're animating or as you're setting up in setup tab. Um, it can be a little tricky to force Messiah to show what you want it to show. And uh, so I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to um, make it so that you can see the influence of a bone on the mesh and also the effector and how to toggle between them. So here I have this head and I'm just going to add some bones. So there I've added three bones. And um, normally you would just put some holding bones around there and, and that would be fine. But some people like to use um, the influence of the bones themselves. And so they would like to be able to see exactly how the influence works. So to do that, you just go into the Animate tab uh, and switch the draw mode of the geometry to Weight or one of the others like Weight and Edges. I'm just going to leave it at Weight. And uh, you just click on a bone. Um, I prefer to middle click so that it, does, it selects it. And then just go back and forth between Setup and Animate and it shows the uh, influence of that bone on the mesh. Now when you're working with um, effectors, so let me add an effector to this scene and then add, um, so there's the meta effector and there's the effector. And so let me just move the effector into and around the neck so that we can isolate the neck from the head. And how you add um, the drawing to, of the geometry to just use the effector instead of the bones is that you click on the meta effector, control click on the geometry, and left click on add items to weight draw list and then you can see um, now it is you, it is uh, showing the effector instead of the bones and so let's just scale the effector so that it works the way we want There we go. So now on bone one, we're going to add, use the meta effector for the filter so that the weight only grabs the geometry of um, that's isolated from the effector. And so now when we move the head, you can see that the chin works correctly, and that's the way uh, you can mask off the body from the head if you have a character with a very large head. Um, but drawing, um, as you can see, now when I go back from Setup tab to Animate, it's still showing this effector. And so the way to get rid of that is just to simply click on the items list and remove the items. And then wherever, whatever you have, uh, the bone you have selected, if you go back to Setup tab and Animate, it works with the bones. And then when you go back to the effector, you'll have to um, re-add the items in order to uh, use the weights with effectors. And so it's kind of a funny relationship. Um, meta effectors seem to supersede bones, but um, when you have nothing in your wait list, it goes back to just uh, showing you the influence bones have on geometry. So that's about it. Hope that's helped understand your understanding of, of uh, the way these weight lists, uh, these bone influences and effector influences can be demonstrated by the different weight draw modes.